Hi, my collective. It's Elle here to do a collective reading. If this reading resonates with you, um, it's for you. Um, it's for the, the month of July going into August. It could almost be timeless. If it resonates, it resonates. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking and sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below. If you need to get in contact with me, let's go ahead and jump into this. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the collective with a message from you. All right, so it looks like in this reading, we got the Sun card, Three of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, and the Magician. That's the basis of the reading. It looks like something was illuminated to you, the person coming to the reading. Some information was made known to you and it was heartbreaking it put you in a place of isolation um you might have even felt betrayal here you thought that something was when it was not you thought that someone was faithful when they were not you thought someone was loyal when they were not you thought someone was wanting the same thing as you they did not you thought you were the only person you were not that was illuminated to you and it took you no time to kind of make that cut dry decision to not engage because the three of swords talks about breakdown in communication betrayal isolation heartbreak for some of you you might have even made the the decision to divorce or separate It looks like you're standing firm to your decision because you're showing up as the Knight of Pentacles. So you're being, you know, unmovable. You're being, you know, just being very firm, um, consistent in your decision and moving forward. Also, the Knight of Pentacles is not moving. The Knight of Pentacles has already done what needed to be done that was sever a tie that was stop a connection that was stop communication the knights are uh their fire their fire of their suit so they're actually doing so the knights are um so this will be the fire of earth so what you're doing is not moving what you're doing is being dogmatic is being pragmatic is is uh, being stable, committed to your decision. And it looks like somebody here is trying to manipulate the energy here. Whatever they can do, they will do. Right now, it seems as if they're trying to use brain power. They're trying to use energy. They're trying to penetrate your energy feel penetrate your mind penetrate your space to get you to engage this the think about this person who wants you to re-engage with them is that they don't want to have effective communication they don't want to talk about what happened and move forward make plans to do better to to see this through, to be honest, to um, change. This person just really wants you to engage in, um, you know, frivolous conversation about nothing. As I say that, I'm choking up. So this person really has nothing to say to you. Let me take a drink of water. This person really has nothing of value to say to you they want you to be engaged in the fight in the battle again they want to have petty argument with you they want to talk to you and if you bring up a subject they would move the goalpost they start talking about something else and they just want to flip-flop they understand that 
you both now, both of you guys are at odds. Um, you have competing wills, competing goals. Your goal is to not engage anymore because you're coming up as the, what clarifies the Knight of Pentacles is the Four of Cups. You're not wanting to engage. You don't want to be involved in it. You don't want to talk. There's nothing to talk about. You are actively doing nothing because the knights are fire of that suit. So you're, and the fire suit is action, is doing. So you're actively not moving with the knight of pentacles because we know that he or she is not moving. So you're actively not moving, actively not engaging. And this person wants to see if they can incite, you know, a riot within you, an argument. Frustration, pettiness, but it looks as if you're not taking to the bait, to the cup. You're over it and you're too concerned with the fact that so much has already happened. I've said what I've said. I'm, it is what it is. I'm okay with releasing this. This person could also be coming back to you while running away from another situation, another partnership, whether it's a serious one or it's a friends with benefits or they have other people on the other side of town, whatever they're running from, um, it really doesn't even matter. But they're running from something to come to you to cause drama, confusion. Uh, disillusionment, discord, disrupt you, just upset what you've got going. And some of you, you've got some like psychic inclination that this is happening, that this is what this person wants to, this is what they have to offer. Five of Wands, Seven of Swords. Um, conflict, trickery, deception, they're trying to get away with something. They're trying to come to you covertly. Whether it's running away from another situation and coming to you. But even in coming to you, they're trying to mask or masquerade as something else. They're trying to masquerade as a divine gift. A cup of love. Like this is what I am. But it looks like you're too focused on the fact that this is really what they are. They are the three of cups. You may have given them three chances. You may have known them three months, three years. I don't know. Um, you could be seeing the number three. Something. There's some divine intervention that happened here also to let you know that this is not for you. And that you need to be focused on yourself. Meditation. Moving forward. I think some of you regret even giving so much time, energy, effort to this person, to this place, to this thing. It did not repay you. It repaid you and hurt. Shame, maybe even pain for some of you. Heartbreak. And now this person is back trying to get you to maybe reinvest in this connection here. With the Eight of Pentacles coming up. Some of you have divested from the connection. You, you're no longer giving to it. They see you pounding away, working, minding your business, being the Knight of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Whatever this person did or these people did or this place did or whatever, whomever it may be, it shifted you into a place of let me go into what I can control. And that is my money monetary gain, um, my reputation, my business. So some of you went into that mode of, I'm going to go into, put all of my energy into what I can control. Some of you are looking to start a business or you have your own business. Some of you are just really in that wash, rinse, repeat cycle of whatever you do for you in your life. Whether it's go to a job or you have your own business. I don't know what you do, but you're not being disturbed. You don't want to be disturbed, but it looks as if this person is 
trying to manifest the opportunity to disturb you, to disrupt you, so that they can masquerade to you again as something that they are not and that they will never be. This person wants you to take your focus off of you, your craft and what you're doing. Put it back into them. Put your focus into the relationship. This card screams, give me a chance again. You may have given this relationship, this situation, this job, whatever it may be, a family member, friend, chances over and over and over again. And someone is someone was more invested in the connection than the other. Someone set the dates and the times for for when you would see each other dates and, and uh, travel and someone was just more invested in the connection and making it work than the other person. And the other person let them do the work. You want to be invested that much and I don't have to do much? Okay, fine. This person could be trying to come back to you and lay down some, some burden here. They could be coming back to you, love bombing you. If you do give them the opportunity to talk to you. This is how they want to come back to you. The Two of Cups, the Four of Wands, and the Six of Wands. Six of Wands here. This person may come back to you and say, you know what? The relationship was good. It is good. You're still my friend. I want to be your friend. There's still a lot of love here. There's opportunity for us to get married, to have that, that relationship, that family, that life that we both dream of, that we talked about. Um, you're the person that I really want. Um, they could be giving you a lot of um, attention, praise, putting you up on that pedestal, maybe even showing you off or showing you around, taking you around, making you feel special, giving you a lot of attention. Because they see, firstly, that you have gone off and rolled off into the sunset, strutting your stuff. Um, you've won that battle. That five of wands petty, drama-filled battle. They see that you weren't going to compete for them also here. That if they put you in any competition, you were ready to, to walk away. That you would win the battle, maybe not the war, but definitely the battle of, I'm not competing for you. I don't even view you as a person that I should compete for. For some of you, this is how you feel. This person can be coming back and saying, you know what? Let's just let bygones be bygones. It's better for us to be together right now than apart. Because we can start working on the relationship. We can start working on us. It's, it can be mutually beneficial. We could get married. It's almost as if this person once again love bombing. Lots of words. Because we have, we have no offers. But we do have a lot of feelings, emotions. This person could want to do something real quick with you. They could even ask you to move in. Or they could talk about moving in. You guys can go look for real estate, homes, something of that nature. This person might even, for some of you, go as far as to propose to you. I don't see you getting married. You get a proposal, but you, you might not be getting married. Because they're coming back to you as the page of pentacles. After all the drama, after all the problems, after the third parties, after the, um, the headaches and uh, the game playing and the mind games, they're coming back to you as a page. Coming back to you as um, Earth of Earth here. Um, doing nothing lots of words wanting to have a new start planning to do this and planning to do that saying the right words um 
giving you a small gesture token of what they really want to do with you, how they want to have this new start, how maybe they may even come back to you and say, you know, my life is, you know, I've gotten more healthy in all areas. I'm, I'm learning about, you know, spirituality and the earth and I'm eating better. I'm working out. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. They may come to you just with all of these words of what they're doing for themselves in their, in their life and how that's going to indirectly benefit you. I don't know. They're coming back to you as the page of pentacles. Not much to offer, if nothing at all. What they do really want is um, the three of cups. They want to reconcile with you. They feel as if... To let you go, you will be the one who got away. They don't want that. They want to do something big with you. Once again, going back to moving in, getting engaged. They want to make some big grand gesture. They want to have that abundant life with you. They want their friend back, their friendship back. You may have not only been a good lover to this person in terms of romance, but you were a good friend. They want the camaraderie back. They want to talk to you. They want to pick your brain. They want to see how you're thinking and what you're thinking about. They may have even talked to other people about you, siblings, neighbors, people in their community, about how they want to get back with you. They could even be talking to one of your siblings. It looks like, wow, whomever this is, you are coming up powerful. It looks like you make the decision to, this is a, so the Eight of Cups, you make the decision to, uh, to walk away. If you do give this person the time of day, if you do give them the opportunity to talk to you, you still walk away. And it's a tough emotional decision. This card talks about finishing up and then moving on. Moving on into to venture into something that you just don't know. Venturing into the unknown. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know who I'm going to end up with. I don't know who I'm going to be with. I don't know, but I know that this relationship, this person doesn't serve me well. It's a tough emotional decision for me to make, but it's time for me to move on. to seek better. Some of you are going on that spiritual journey and you're coming up as the Knight of Pentacles again. Some of you, you're guarded and you're protected from this energy because sometimes the Knight of Pentacles is the guardian angel also. You're coming up unmovable. I mean, they could literally come back and bring you a four carat ring And you're, you're so strong in your conviction that you're just going to walk away from it. You state your peace. You move on. Because you're looking, once again, some of you are really on a spiritual journey. You're looking for emotional satisfaction for you first. For you to be filled with spirit, with love, devotion. So that you can then, it can overflow in you and so it can flow into the right person the right situation. Some of you also are putting a lot of energy time into a new venture, a new business. The, the Ace of Cups also talks about a profitable business venture. Some of you just choosing to love you more than you love this person. You understand that Maybe this was a soulmate. They had something to teach you. You learned a lesson. Again, it's time to finish up and move on. It's closed. You feel differently. The wheel is now turning. It's over. Something is locked now. You also don't want anything to disrupt your fortune. Because look what your fortune is. Wow, I can't make this shit up. Um, this is your fortune. Trying to get all of the cards together. 
the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. You're after it. Whatever it is, you're after it. You're coming up as the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands talks about getting a lot done in a short amount of time. She is magical. She is charismatic. She is outgoing. Some of you could have been the other woman in a situation that you were in, in this situation. And you're kind of, you're just done with it. It's over. You understand that the wheel is now turning and it's turning in your favor. You have the opportunity for it to turn in your favor. You have the opportunity to have um, the highest level of happiness with the Ten of Cups. You understand that the stage is set for happiness. You just have to perform well. You understand that you can actually um, be, uh, you can have the real family, the, the real estate, the real husband, the real kids, the real dog. You can be the grandfather, the grandmother. You can um, have something realized here. And you're just putting yourself first. By way of tearing down this old dynamic. You understand you can't take this old energy with you. You understand that somebody's love is plural. And it will always be. It is never singular. It's never single. It's never that their love and their devotion is just for you. Someone has a very big ego. And when they were with you. And when they had you, um, their ego was tamed. And now that you're gone, you've kind of upset. You've upset the apple cart. You've upset the power dynamic. This person likes to divide themselves amongst other people, several love interests. I don't know. And now that you've left, it looks like now they have to give either all or some or more than they want to give to another party. And that's not what they like. This is not even a person who wants to have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with anyone. They always have to have something on the side. It makes them feel powerful. The Six of Pentacles talks about a power dynamic. This person here, given the two parties, feels powerful. He wears the red cloak. We know red is for power. He feels like he is healing this person and he's giving this other person illumination, knowledge. Somebody's ego is fractured because you left the dynamic. You, you stop giving to it. You stop being so subservient or submissive. They miss it. They, they miss your service unto them. And now they're at a place of not knowing how to get it back. And now they're at a place of obsession and, aggress and aggressiveness. They're infatuated with you. As soon as they have you, then it'll be them breadcrumbing you and maybe even ghosting you. Or it will no longer be a challenge. But as long as you're gone, there's infatuation, there's obsession, there's a craze for you. There's a need to have you. There's a, a desire to want to talk to you. They cannot... Stay in the mystery of not knowing what you're doing, who you're doing it with, and where. So they want to rush in. They want to have sex with you. They want to have... This person is completely obsessed with just possessing you. Or having access to you. They have nothing to give. Nothing to offer. Fun times... Maybe fun and games, some jokes. They feel like they are enough. They're overly confident in the fact that 
I am enough. I have. I don't have to give anything else. I don't want to give anything else. This is a terribly selfish person. This person is. There's a level of um, aggression and, and uh, selfishness. They feel like you leaving them is them losing. They feel as if this is all a game, a ploy. This is a person who is not healthy and does not have healthy relationships with anyone. If you're feeling as if, well, they just did this to me. Oh, it was just to me. Um, maybe they're going to go on and have a great relationship with someone else. Never. Because this is their energy. Knight of Wands, the Fool card, the Devil. This is a restless soul. They don't let grass grow under their feet. They don't stay around. They're not sticking around long enough. They come in on the conquest to get whatever it is they want, and they're out. They want no strings attached in relationships. They're always looking to start anew. They're extremely promiscuous here. Promis promiscuity is uh, defined in the Chinese proverb as a many starts so m a n y starts many starts N no never finishing this person doesn't finish anything they don't plan on running away with anybody and having the white picket fence and the children and the dog and no they they could forever do this this is a restless soul this is someone this, this person could even be just given over to, to just carnal desire, sex, um, flings, one night stands, they're impulsive, uh, whatever feels good they do. There's a very dark nature about them. Maybe and they were good at hiding it and masquerading as if they were better than what they really are. They don't like intimacy. They don't want it at all. They could be very um, materialistic. Uh, they overindulge in everything. They overdo everything. They could be a showboat. They like to show off. They could be borderline, just obnoxious altogether at times. They're very childish. Even if they're older, they just love childish things and child play if things get too intimate too lovey-dovey too frilly they'll pull away they'll watch you but they'll pull away because they have the the mindset to come back they just need space space and opportunity maybe to go and do something with someone else This person knows um, that they're going to be judged heavily for what they've done. Or they, or they're, right now, they are in that judgment space, whether they know it or not. Because they do feel something for you, especially if you are the person that left the connection, especially if you're the person that is gone. They do feel the void. They feel the absence. They understand that this might have been a significant relationship here. Some of you are on the road to having a significant relationship. Some of you made some snap decision. You, you judge them. You judge them right, rightfully so. You walked away and you judge them. And you understand that maybe this was a twin flame or soulmate situation. I don't know. Whatever you subscribe to. But you understand that it it, it is um, it could have been better. But it is perverse in nature. It's perverted. 
maybe because they didn't they didn't see who you really are or who you really were to them or what this could be so a lot of you just decided to overcome the obstacle that is this person this relationship this situationship and move on go in a new positive direction you put an end to this relationship wow and you started the healing back to the healing journey for you with the star card coming up your intuition is no longer blocked you're getting download from spirit you're learning you're sitting under spiritual teaching you're learning life lesson you're learning about your own personal philosophy and how you dealt with and how you do your mind is sharp and it's clear and because of that you're getting what is due unto you you're getting justice because this person is still masquerading around being the magician being a juggler still juggling situations still after carnal debased materialistic things this person could be drinking a lot they could be drinking themselves to death this person could have some type of um ailment that has something to do with uh tendons and their joints and drinking something about it flares up with drinking wow as i say that we get we get the flare up card whatever they do it it it's it, showing up in their body they're feeling the devastation a disappointment there's an inability to cope with the fact that this relationship is over they still think there's hope they're holding out for hope they know that there's a breakdown in this connection but again they're coming up as the magician holding out for hope trying to manifest manipulate the energy waiting for your call your response your email your text not knowing that you've walked away you've moved on you found guidance here on this earth in spirituality in routine in regiment in getting yourself together while this person is stuck waiting waiting to be rescued by you waiting to be rescued in terms of I'm waiting for your energy to return to me I'm waiting for your call I'm waiting for your love again I have nothing to offer you but I'm waiting for you to rescue me from my own prison my own mental prison this person could have mental issues they are undiagnosed this person could cry over you or have cried over you they don't even know why they're crying. Their ego won't allow them to do anything different or anything better. They see you abundant, flourishing, starting something new. Where there's a new relationship, they may even see you pregnant and away from them. Starting something new. Pregnant with good idea or an actual baby. They see you getting a lot of attention. They see you as beautiful, as radiant, as light, as the light shining on you. They are watching you heavily just to come to you. And all that there, this person, I don't think they have any kings on the table. This is how this person is coming up. Page of Swords, Page of Wands. They're just curious about what you're doing, how you're doing it. And they're curious in terms of why you won't engage in petty argument. They could be asking around about you, snooping around, getting tarot card readings. This could be you also. I think yours is more so for satisfaction. The page of wands, they want to come to you and they just want to 
give you some fun flirty message just to see how far they can get with you. They see you dressed up looking well. They see you concerned only about yourself and your own personal development. It's a heavy desire for you. Desire to have sexual contact with you, engage with you sexually. You are their heart's desire. Their heart is blocked, debased, and perverted also. Again, they just want to do something with you. I just want to do something. I want to be around you. I want us to be doing something again. I have no plan for the future. I have no plan for you or intention for the relationship. I just want to do something with you. I don't know what it is, but I just want to do something. This is absolutely asinine. Um, you're seeing the truth of the matter. You've been illuminated to the fact that this person, um, spirit is speaking to you in terms of this person, in terms of their mindset, that they may be um, a narcissist, um, the eternal bachelor. They don't want anybody um, intimately and, and closely. Um, that they have secret plan all for themselves, all by themselves. It does not include anyone else. Selfish is an understatement. You've been illuminated to that. Therefore, there is no salvaging the relationship. There's no coming back together. There's no, there is no balance here. There can be no alchemy. There can be no marrying the two or mixing or mixing your energy with this person. Because once again, they are, they are pissed poor mor morally. They have no morals, no values. They value uh the tangible which makes them which makes them inwardly um again, I'm just stuck here guys um because I'm looking I'm getting a lot so this person is um with the five of pentacles coming up this is a person with deep seated insecurity lack of confidence here they have been shut out before because they don't know how to control there's no control with them they overindulge they overcommit. They choose wrongly. They make promises. Have no intention of actually fulfilling the promise. They don't care about relationship. They have deep-seated issues. And again, they just want to possess you. You're not letting this person in. You're not letting anything out. Your mindset is making a decision that's best for the whole, for everybody. And it's for you to walk away. Six of Cups. Um, excuse me. Six of Swords. You have intellectualized this move away. You said it just makes sense. I'm not going to win with a covert narcissist who has nothing to offer me. It's best for me to move on. Even if I'm moving on in shame, even if I'm moving on in regret, I need to move on. You have intellectualized this moving on. Someone, if you give this, op this person an opportunity to talk to you, they will just say anything. Building castles in the sky, just nothing. They continuously come up as a page. They'll bring you a message of love. Look what's in the cup, though. A fish. Give a man a fish, he'll eat for one day. 
teach them how to, you know how it goes. This person doesn't have anything to offer you because they are piss poor morally. Um, they might just be given over to, they might even be conditioned to um, this way of living, this way of existing. They see you continuously flourishing, moving on with your life, not in need of them. They see you moving on, you planning to do something big, you focused on your money, your riches, your body. They're in deep despair. This person isn't even sleeping right. Their sleep patterns have been off. This is a person who could <clears throat> work at night, work overnight. Something just dis disturbs their sleep. It could even be constant communication in their sleep. It could be their phone. Something disturbs their sleep. They don't, there's no peace within this person. They're looking for the opportunity, like the chance opportunity to see you out, to run into you, to contact you. But it looks like you're blocking this heavily. Looks like your psychic abilities towards the opposite sex, they have been heightened. And you're blocking every spiritual attack, every telepathic message. This person wants to come in and disrupt. There's a destructive influence as the thunder comes. They want to destruct what you have going on. It's one thing when a person wants to come into your life and help you build, help you construct, right? Help you do construction. But this person wants to have a destructive influence on you. So they want to come in and start to, if you're devaluing, de decomposing, de anything, then you're taking it's it's breaking down. It's it's coming apart. So this person wants to destruct what you are constructing. They want all of your focus on them. This is when a person is working hard to get your focus. Spirit, God, angels, this lifetime, this journey, the lesson that you needed to be, the lesson that you needed to learn, saying that it's over. Somebody is not knowing that it's over. They're not, they're too focused on, um, they can't see. They don't have spiritual sight. They don't, this person doesn't have any spirituality. They don't practice any. They still want to rush into, into rush to you and communicate their truth of the matter, how they see it. They want to intellectualize their side of the story, um, their mindset. And they may be very good at it. Someone is saying, look, I just need to grieve, mourn, and move on. Um, it's over. I'm too focused on what has happened, um, what is, and um, I need to just move on from here. Too many tears have been cried. Uh, too many things have, have happened uh, between us. Um, how do we cross this river and get back to being us? We can't for some of you. Some of you also see the polarities in this person and in you and this person. You see that you're both too different to come together. You want the same thing, but you're very different. You go about life different. Some of you are, some, you know, I'm just going to say, one of you is good. The other person is just bad. And you might just be bad for each other because you're somebody's good and the other person is bad. But let's say you go into another relationship, then it might be the adverse. It might flip flop. You're the bad one and then the other person is good. Or you'll get lucky and find someone who marries your energy and you both will be good together. And same for this person. They could go into another relationship and they can just be it can be two bad people who understand each other. We're just bad. We're just, we like bad things. We do bad things. We're, we're about that life, period. And it works for them. 
One of you is tamed. One of you is untamed. You're so different that it brings you to out of your comfort zone. To where it makes you uncomfortable. We have a, a lobster, crab. We have a crustacean coming out of the water. The only time they do that is to lay their eggs. Somebody makes you come out of your comfort zone here. They make you uncomfortable. Somebody also has been lying to themselves about this relationship, about this person, about this person's nature. This was unrealized potential, unrealized success here. It could have been successful if this person had, you know, risen to the occasion and, you know, ascended, been better. It says, put your talents, your energy, your effort into things that will yield you a profit. This person wants you to take the mindset, or some of you have had the mindset of, I'm frustrated, but I'm going to continue. I'm frustrated, but I'm going to see this through. There's been like a, a period for some of you of uh, inactivity maybe nine months nine weeks something about nine here you'll always be working towards this relationship it'll never turn over into realization I don't know what I want to call this but um, this, this reading was for somebody I hope that it resonates I hope that it gave you some clarity about who you're dealing with um if it does like share comment comment below um your story could help someone else comment about what you've been going through all links are below if you need to get in contact with me and get your own personal reading thank you many blessings to you take care